Hi, question for you. How do you feel about audits? If you're like most of us, you hate them. They're up there with root canals. You might have friends who are auditors. You like them, hate what they do. How would you like to have a nice audit system that is simple, flexible, and actually somewhat enjoyable? I'm Brian McCorder here at Black Belt Lean Thinking and I want to talk to you about a lean tool called Commission Buy. And this is a tool that is basically an audit system, but it's a very simple and very flexible one. Commission Buy is a very simple lean tool that is used to audit almost anything. It's simple, flexible, easy to use, and for an audit, somewhat enjoyable. In my book, The X Factor, I talk about for a lean tool or for anything in business, there are three qualities we're always striving for. And that's simplicity, directness, and engagement. And Commission Buy really embraces all of these. The Commission Buy originally meant a paper theater. And what it was was a story time, so to speak, where a parent or adult would have a story on one side of a card and on the other side pictures that the child would look at and they would read the story to them. This was before cable and we had to kind of make our own fun. How this transitioned into a business audit system, I have no idea. But I do have a lot of experience with it and it works very well. As I mentioned, we tend to hate audits. Audits can be cumbersome and take a lot of time and like I said, we just shy away from them. But when I unfold for you the commission by system, what you're gonna see is a very simple, very pragmatic tool that you can literally set up in a matter of minutes, change or tweak to meet whatever your needs are for the business and you have a very efficient way to surface problems. Remember, Lean is about two main activities surfacing problems and continuous improvement. And we have to understand that almost any business, any system is rife with problems. We have those eight forms of waste that we're continually looking for. Shrinkage, waiting, inventory, motion, transportation, over-processing, over-production, and uh, underutilized people. But uh, Commission Buy is another tool that you would use to surface these. Again, the problems are there. The, pro the real problem is we don't see them. I remember uh, hearing the story of one person high up in Toyota that was visiting a factory, asked the manager what they were dealing with, what the main problems were right now. And the manager told him, well, we really don't have any main problems. And he looked at me, shook his head and goes, no problem is a problem. He knew that there were problems there. You're just not seeing them. Commission Buy is a great tool for this. You don't have to call it Commission Buy, although it's kind of a fun word to say. I often will hear this referred to as control point standards because you're looking to verify that the standards you set up are actually being used and in place. You can use it to audit anything and you can call it whatever you want. Call it uh, team inspections, whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to my desktop and we'll walk through the PowerPoint slides that I typically use when teaching this tool. Again, hopefully as I go through this, you're going to see what a simple, easy, and useful tool it is. It really embraces all that is lean. Simple, direct, engaging, very pragmatic. Commission by a system of audit standards and so much more. A very versatile audit system that you can use to accomplish quite a bit in a short period of time. Okay, so what is Kibishi by? As I mentioned earlier, the term actually means paper theater. Cards with pictures on one side and writing on the back used to tell a children's story. This has been morphed into a very simple audit structure by replacing the story with questions or whatever it is you want to look at and having one side green and one side red so it's something that's very easy and quick to deploy. You can use it to check safety, quality, delivery, as I mentioned it's incredibly versatile. And often in the US it is called control point standards. Again it's a way of looking at those vital processes 
and anything that you want to make sure that um, is being done the way it should be. Again, we don't want to make assumptions that critical, critical processes are happening as uh, they need to be. We want to validate and verify constantly that this is going on. Remember, there's uh, two real key elements to lean at the center of lean, and they're surfacing problems, you know, eliminating waste, and continuous improvement. And commission by is just another tool that we use to do this. Okay, here is an actual commission by board, a communication board that um, we used in one of the, the factories that uh, I taught lean at and uh, helped drive safety in. And we actually had several of these boards throughout the facility, maybe 30 of these. Um, and I'll walk through the structure of how to set up a board. I've seen many different designs. So again, come up with something that works for you. And in the spirit of lean, you know, change it as you find better ways. Again, everything is you know, uh, green and growing or dry and dying. So if we're not moving forward with any element, it's probably going backward. Okay, so what is commission by? Again, it's an audit system that we're gonna use to teach, train, and verify what needs to happen is actually happening. Like you see up there with the, uh, the cuffs for checking blood pressure. Once again, we want to make sure that uh, our, our processes are healthy and our information streams and any transformation processes are happening the way they're supposed to. Supply chain, Kanbans, you, you know, lean tools, any of this can be checked via the card structure of Kamishibai. So it's a very flexible setup. Uh, you'll pull a card, read the question on it or do the audit and it might say to do a 5S check of a cabinet nearby, or a desk, or a workbench. So you simply perform it, and then green side out if the card was, if everything was fine, and or place the red side out if there's a problem, and then write your problem statement, your countermeasure, or your root cause and your countermeasure. In a typical Toyota plant, you might find as many as 100 commission by boards across the site. Again, very versatile, and it is a working man's tool. It's not used to create um, you know, uh, presentations or anything like this, it's used to get work done and make sure that what needs to be happening is truly happening. It is a form of standardization, simple and flexible check tool. So again, it's something you can deploy in a matter of minutes. You don't have a board up, you know, just use a whiteboard and get your cards made and then improve upon it. But you can get it going literally in a matter of minutes. It ensures required checks are prompted and completed in a timely manner. We tend to fall away from things that people aren't looking at. Again, that's a purpose of audits. Remember, when it comes to lean, um, if we're looking at what is value added, audits are non-value added from the customer's perspective. We need them because we want to verify what's happening, you know, what needs to happen is happening. We want to make sure that we have good quality. So we need a very robust and a pragmatic audit system, one that is you know, uh, takes up as little time as possible and is as efficient as possible. I've even seen good automated uh, quality systems where you're doing uh, visual checks using vision systems and things like that. It goes along this line. Um, we want the checks to be very visual. We want to use them to put on a board so that they're visual and we create that sense of urgency and that dynamic tension. Again, someone walking into an area should be able to look at a communication board, kind of like a scoreboard at a, a basketball game, and be able to tell exactly what's going on. If you can walk or have a stranger walk into a department and they can't tell if that department is running on schedule or if they're ahead or behind schedule, then most likely people in that department may not know either. We need those boards. We need good communication boards. Okay. We'll use that audit system not only to verify, but we can use it to train ourselves and others on the processes uh, into, again, anything that's vital to that operation. We'll use it to surface problems. Again, another very key point of lean. We'll use it to teach. As we do the, the audit checks, you pull a card and you ask a team member or someone working in the area about a process, Again, that ups their knowledge level. Again, we, as I mentioned earlier, we tend to hate audits because they point out problems. But with a while of doing commission by, you'll find everyone's skill, knowledge, and cover, comfort level with this goes up. So it goes from a negative to a positive. We start enjoying the commission by because it gives us a chance to 
show off our knowledge and show how on top of things we are. So it becomes a very positive thing with a little while of doing it. Who does the commission buy? What I would suggest and what I've seen that is most successful is have different people do it uh, throughout the organization at various levels. So you would have the plant manager even go out and do once, uh, one a week, uh, maybe even one a day, you know, up to, you know, it's up to their commitment level, but uh, there's a lot of juice behind their position. And by going out on the floor and doing one, it gets a lot of attention, it's a really good thing. Uh, typically, what I see is at the lowest level, say the, the people on the team might do one a day. So they might even, you might have a team member from one department, go and pull one from the uh, department next to them. So a different set of eyes. Then you'll have a team leader, say the lead mechanic or supervisor, definitely do at least one in each department per shift. But, uh, and then it all goes up on that communication board. So you determine the levels, but you want layers. So each one acts as a safety net. If one uh, doesn't get done for some reason, another one will. And with each layer up to your organization, again, it gives it more attention. What are things that we can check with those commission buy cards? As I said, it's incredibly versatile. You can use it to verify that standard work is being done, that people are following standards, that they're maintaining proper documentation. Are there forms that they need to fill out? Quality checks, is it happening? Do they have their forms up to date? 5S plus one, again, verifying that uh, they are following 5S. The whole purpose of 5S is to surface problems because clutter hides problems. We want to make sure that we have a good state of 5S it's, that minimizes waste and motion and looking for things and frustration. You need to have one to verify that people are working safe, wearing PPE. Um, is there TPM initiatives, total productive maintenance? Are there check sheets that need to be followed? for lubrication, cleaning, things along this line. So you can literally change your cards. We would cycle cards in and out in uh, some of the various uh, factories that I've worked helping with this. So, you know, whatever was kind of the hot topic, if there's an issue or a weak link, then we could create a card, put it into the deck, so to speak, and then pull it later when it's no longer an issue. So keep it kind of cycling. So here are the nuts and bolts of a basic commission by board. So on the card, again, the green side and the red side really show the exact same things. But this gives you an idea of how you can set one up. So you can have four or five different questions or things that you want to look at actually on the card. Now this gives some latitude to the auditor, the person performing it. They can pull that card up and decide what they want to ask. Or if they want to, they can ask all four or five questions. But pick what I would suggest is pick the topic that seems most relevant and go ahead and ask the question, then use that. So usually choosing one is the best. And you see there's quite a variety on here. Some things you might want to put on your card are the shift that they're used and uh, number of the cards. But it's really not that important. The main thing is that um, you're using cards that uh, are relevant to your operation and what's important for your operation. Again, think like that doctor checking the vitals. You want to make sure that you're looking at things that uh, you know have an impact. Again, this is one of the reasons why uh, commission buying in the U.S. is often called control point standards. You know, what are those control points that are vital, and you want to make sure that you are looking at those. Okay, the green side and the red side really say the exact same thing. Green side just means okay. Red side is abnormality found. You 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 surfaced a problem. This is a good thing. Again, in lean, we want to view mistakes as a good thing because they're surfacing problems. Then we just need to get to the root cause and come up with a mistake-proof device. Again, a lot of lean is about surfacing waste, surfacing issues. If someone makes a mistake, you can bet that someone had made the mistake before them. And unless uh, some mistake-proof device is created or you improve the process, someone will make that same mistake after them. So it's always uh, good to surface abnormalities, surface waste, you know, identify those eight forms, and commission by, again, is just a great tool to help do that. Then, uh, after you're finding it, remember, the point is to make things really visual. We want to create dynamic tension. We want a sense of urgency. So everyone needs to see uh, what was found. So there you need that big commission by board or that visual board that's in an area to where again, with time, you should see a lot more green than you do red. 
but it might surprise you in the beginning what you find that you know you think you have a handle on and find out that uh, that's not necessarily the case and as you get to lots of green you know the processes are in place and and things are running well then you might want to look at um, other areas you know add more lean tools and again go to that next level Again, everything is either going forward or going backwards, so we need to keep that uh, momentum going towards that continuous improvement. When there is an issue, then you just, uh, we would actually use red and green magnets in this area where it's okay or not okay. I think you saw on that first board that I showed that wasn't uh, kind of a diagram like this. And then you'd write down your problem statement, what you found, the root cause, and then the countermeasure. Um, so hopefully you've got it under control and you might leave it that way and then you know record these also somewhere in an Excel sheet or something so you can look and see if there are trends you know over time. <clears throat> very simple approach and that's pretty much it. So you, again you've got a very good audit tool that you can quickly deploy. You can do this in a matter of minutes and it's extremely pragmatic. Again, when we think audit systems, we think uh, cumbersome and you know, just a lot of effort and preparation and recording. And with commission buy, a lot of that goes away. Create your card, create your board, ask the question, display it. Uh, if you surface a problem, you get to uh, you know find uh, the root cause and try and come up with a way to avoid it for the future. Remember, these problems are already existing. What we need to do is surface them and then deal with them. Otherwise, guess what? A year from now, that problem still exists. So again, it's extremely flexible. It requires some discipline, <clears throat> but what doesn't? And this is one of those things with a really good payoff. And I've seen this actually implemented in several different facilities. And again, in the beginning, it takes some getting used to, but I was always amazed at how quickly people on the teams would get behind it. I saw one team, a, a large area in a fluorescent light factory, a team of about 50 people where they created kind of a wheel of fortune. Rather than pull a card, they had all the cards numbered and the wheel showed the different numbers and they'd spin the wheel, whatever number landed on, that's the card they would pull. Um, that way you could get the same card in theory two times in a row and that's why they did it. They wanted it to where, um, say if they were going to check a 5S of a cabinet, you know, if someone knew that cabinet was 5S yesterday or checked for it, they could kind of maybe slide backwards the next day. But now they know with that wheel spin that it could be checked two, three days in a row. So it kind of made them on high alert. Okay, hopefully you saw the value in that. Again, we tend to hate audits, but this is something that you can very easily gamify. It's something you can have fun with. And uh, when I was at, with Phillips as their senior trainer, we used this quite extensively throughout our facility, and we did have fun with it. Um, I would even change up some of the cards based on the holidays and ask uh, around Christmas, I'd ask questions about uh, history of Santa Claus or whatever, but you have some fun with it. Again, we're human, we're social, so anything where you can kind of spin a, put an emotional spin or gamify to it uh, makes it a lot more fun. But a very pragmatic tool, again, you don't have to call it commission buy, call it whatever you want, control point standards, whatever. But uh, hopefully this is something that uh, I encourage you to take a, a crack at in your business. Again, you can deploy this anywhere, give it a try, tweak it to meet your needs, and uh, see what happens for you. If you have any questions about deploying Commission Buy or any other lead tool, feel free to reach out to me. I truly do enjoy this stuff, and it's fun to watch businesses move ahead by using these very simple lean tools. So until next time, thanks, Brad McCorder, Glad Bell Lean Thinking.